Hi, Mark Zip from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to talk to you today about an exceptional example of Southern Stoneware that we received for our March 2nd auction. Um, as you can see, it's a Dave the Slave Jar from Edgefield, South Carolina. Um, Dave's a very important figure in, in African American uh, artisanal history and, and in uh, Southern ceramic history as well. You can see his signature written boldly across the front, very deeply incised, Dave as well as the date, March 19th, 1857. And Dave probably learned to pot uh, as well as read and write from an early master named Harvey Drake uh, in Pottersville, South Carolina. Um, most of his dated pieces date to the 1850s. There are some from the 1830s. And of course, Dave is, is very well known for uh, the couplets that he put on some of his pots. And uh, the heyday of, of incised signatures and poetry on pieces is the 1850s that this piece dates to. Um, a great article in Ceramics in America 2006 by Arthur Goldberg and James Wachowski uh, on Dave uh, discusses uh, a whole number of pieces that he made and the various uh, poems he put on pieces and sort of documents all the side examples. There's, there's over 150 mentioned uh, in that article. And this particular piece is not mentioned in that article, so this, this is to be considered a fresh find, an important uh, new discovery in the, in the body of Dave's work um, to have surfaced. But, but interestingly enough, um, as discussed in that article, Dave uh, apparently made one signed piece per day uh, throughout a large period of his career. And there's actually a piece dated March 20th, 1857, one year after, uh, one day after this piece was made. Um, there's also a piece dated uh, March 24th, 1857, and another dated uh, March 12th, I believe, uh, 1857. So there's a handful of pieces made right around this piece, and interestingly enough, one has survived that was made actually a day after this piece. Um, Dave made most of his dated pieces, most of his uh, signed pieces at the Stony Bluff Manufactory of a man named Lewis Miles and uh, there's, there's some debate as to whether Lewis Miles was actually one of his owners or just somebody he worked for. Um, however, a lot of his jars, including this example, uh, bear the initials LM for Lewis Miles. And you can see that deeply scrawled into the shoulder of this jar. And a lot of times you'll see jars that just say LM um, or just basically look like this, have this distinctive great ovoid form um, with, with similar glazing uh, and, and you'll be able to say that's a Dave piece. But this piece is really great because it actually says Dave on it so there's no doubt about who made it. Um, also you can find on, on some Dave jars signed and, and attributed examples and, and one method of attribution for Dave is there are markings like this on the shoulder, these two slash marks where occasionally you'll see a horseshoe mark, um, or also, as on this example, punctuates to, to denote the gallonage. This is a five-gallon jar, and so we have five incised dots on the shoulder uh, running vertically right here. And Dave was, was a true master of his work. Um, there's actually an early uh, newspaper article written about how children would, would go and marvel at Dave turning clay into these beautiful jars and jugs or whatever form he desired uh, at a whim and he, he, was, he, was a, he was a great craftsman, apparently a very large man and he could actually make pots uh, similar in form to this up to 40 gallons or more. Um, so it was, he was really uh, a talented craftsman. This piece is covered in what's called an alkaline glaze. It has this great uh, brownish color to it. However, one thing that's interesting about alkaline glazes is, is you get all these interesting runs and drips uh, in the firing. And this piece uh, has some of those desirable runs that, that, that collectors uh, look for. It has these great olive drips uh, on the shoulder. But this is a, a fresh to the market piece. You can see it still has dirt on the inside, even dirt under the handle. Um, and we're very happy to offer it in our March auction.